Hey everyone, this is Kenny, and today I would like to dial in some cool EVH-esque tone using the Black Star Silverline. And I'm going to control and uh, dive deep into tone shaping using the Architect software. So, like I was saying, uh, the, the power section emulation basically sets the amount of compression and certain mid-range frequencies to shoot out even more. So I have it on the EL34, because, duh, EVH. And I have the Les Paul to down a half step, um, because half step, EVH. <laughs> um, so I have the mid and treble turn up all the way in the bass at around 3.5 to have it pretty aggressive sounding. But if you listen to the isolated guitar tracks of his, you can really hear that tone. And uh, I'm kind of trying to emulate the more of a Panama era sound. So I have it on, so it's not as gainy um, if you listen to it closely. So I have it on the crunch voice. Um, let's see, I had it set at like 6.9. So it's, it sounds like this. Oops, let me kill these. Pretty good sounding, I think, um, but to me it's a little bit too gainy, so I'm going to turn down the gain, cut it to around like three. So now you can really hear the note separation more. Playing these chords, slash chords. You can really hear the notes separately. And one cool thing about the secret sounds of EVH is how he used reverb and delay. So he had a nice wide washy uh, reverb, but not as like in, in, not too much of a mix. So I have the size on my plate to 6.5 and level at 1.7, and it sounds like this. So you can hear a nice wash afterwards. But while you're playing, you can't really hear the reverb. It just kind of fills in the gap. And then the last piece of the puzzle is the delay. So he had a little bit of a slap back in the sound just to get the sound a little bit more wider sounding. Uh, so uh, widespread. So I have the time at 100 milliseconds feedback 0.3, which is like a single slap back delay. And I have the level around middle. So this is without the delay. I'm going to add the delay. Do you hear that slap back now? It just makes sounds a little bit wider. Sounds great. And then um, obviously you gotta have a phaser sound, right? So I have the phaser mix in depth all the way up, and then I have the phaser all the way down to the extreme. So you get that nice swirly, slow, wide uh, phaser sound. <laughs> Get that sound. 